Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Good evening, everyone. Tina Spalding Trance Channeled here. Um, for day 11? Is it day 11? I hope it's day 11. Um, evening. So I've had a busy day, as you can tell. I'm a bit scattered. I've been pressure washing my moldy house in preparation for painting, so my mind has been on some mundane task today, but uh, here I am, uh, ready or not, let's see what Jesus has to say to us this evening. <clears throat> you are blessed beings indeed, I am that one that you know as Jesus, and it is wonderful to see such dedication, and we would like you this evening to witness this dedication. Uh, this being is doing a lot of work for all of you and she is doing it because she has been guided to do it. There is no ego involved in the sense that she is doing it for a strategic purpose to gain certain things. She is not. We nudged her and nudged her and nudged her and she stepped up to the plate because she knows that the work is good and she knows that the work, when it is done in these extent, extended periods, such as our lessons last year and this 40 days and 40 nights, it gives people a, a personal connection with me. And that is really what is going to benefit you over these weeks, is that you are coming to a place twice a day where you are being given wisdom and you are being given guidance and you are being told you're amazing and that you are eternal spiritual beings, creators beyond your imagination. When you pass over into the uh, between life period, when you have your life review, you will be astonished at what you have created. Much of it unconscious, much, much of it inadvertent, some of it incorrectly but you will see just how truly powerful you are. And this is what we want to encourage you to dwell on this evening. We want, to, we want you to dwell on the fact that you are made in the image of God, which means you are creative, you are freedom seeking, and you are loving. These are the qualities of God that you have. And so when you think of your creativity, look at your body. You are making that body. Look at your relationships. You are making those relationships. Look at your, the way you sustain yourself, your labors. You are doing that. You are powerful. And you are contributing as part of the collective to the screen, the movie that you are watching out in the world. It is all coming from all of you creatures with God-given skills. But you are not taught that. You forget that even when we tell you over and over again, you are sacred beings indeed. You are powerful beings indeed, and you are loving beings indeed. We want you, as you sit back in your beds this evening, to think about what you have experienced in your life, your whole life, being born, the family into which you came, going to school as a child, the friends you made, the sports you played, the university you went to perhaps, or the teenage baby you had, whatever. We do not judge you. You have had a unique experience and it is yours. And you have created it and you are still creating it. What we want you to do now is to lucid dream. We want you to intentionally create freedom, intentionally create health, intentionally create loving relationships and abundance for yourselves and your families. But what you have to do is dedicate yourself to that in your mind. Dedicate yourself to that in your mind. So when you're aimlessly walking through the fields with your dog, you can envision yourself and say, ah, I have this magnificent home to go home to. Uh, it's, it's beautiful. It's got three bedrooms, a lovely deck. It may not be the home you have, but it's the home you'd like to experience. And each day as you walk that same route with your dog, you can make that the meditation. There is nothing wrong with wanting some comfort in your life. There is nothing wrong with it. What we don't want it to do is to control you. And the way the ego goes about things, it is about control. It is not about imagination, creativity, and surrendering to that 
um, idea knowing that you've sent it out into the universe and the universe is listening to you. The ego is harsh and driven and limited and hateful if anyone gets in its way. It's a completely different set of circumstances and experiences that the ego will bring you over imagining what you would like and handing it over to spirit and saying, it's in your hands now. You bring me these wonderful experiences. I am going to do my part, which means I am going to practice forgiveness. I'm going to look upon this world with forgiving eyes. I'm going to offer up my talents to the world. I'm going to express my creativity freely in many ways. And that is my part. I'm going to float downstream, not struggling, not striving, but vigilant for love, vigilant for my forgiveness practice and understanding that we are all equal brothers and sisters in the eyes of the divine. So as you mull over your life this evening, as you go to bed, see what a magnificent creature you are. Yes, you have made mistakes. Yes, you have learned a lot of things. But here you are studying A Course in Miracles. Here you are with a daily spiritual practice. You have come a long way, dear ones, and you will come a long way further. So go to sleep knowing that you are magnificent, knowing that you are very powerful, and knowing that you can have a happy dream here in this place of separation. I am that one that you know as Jesus, and we say good night to you and sweet dreams. <laughs> Thank you for joining me today and I'll see you tomorrow. Sweet dreams. Bye.